Hi friends, I was recently at Home Depot and decided to get their seeds there because they're a little bit different from what's offered at Lowe's. And so let me show you what I got. I decided to get some burpee seeds um, just simply because they offered some different kinds of seeds than um, the fairy morse. So they have this red Reuben basil. I've purchased red Reuben basil seeds before a long time ago when I just started gardening and I didn't really know how <laughs> to this day because the seeds are small they're a little bit challenging to grow. So but last year I was able to grow a bunch of different kinds of basils so I know I can. I know I'm capable. Let's see what its description is. Great for decorative planting. The ornamental leaf is great in the flower or vegetable bed and is annual. It's an annual plant. Now I've got this Detroit Supreme Beet. So when I first started ordering seeds, I got them from Johnny's. That was the first company I ever ordered from. And I only got a different, like several different kinds of radishes. I did not buy beets. And, you know, I didn't know that radishes were a little bit spicy. I knew that radishes were crunchy. But I think I'm ready now to try to grow beets because I do love that they're sweet. Now, I don't know if they're crunchy um, when you pull them out of the ground, so, or if they're soft the way that they're depicted. A special selection from Detroit Dark Red, high quality roots are smooth and sweet. Produces extra high yields. So that sounds pretty good. Next I got this Cabbage Baby Choy. Looks pretty good. Fast growing small heads have tender green leaves and excellent flavor. It almost looks like what we use for pickling in Chinese culture, but usually that's a mustard. And this is a, a like a almost like a bok choy family. Here is pak choy, peche, which is piche, which is the uh, Korean variety, or that's what um, the Korean name for pak choy. A fast and easy to grow Chinese cabbage that tastes great. Main ingredient of chow mein. Oh, okay. So this one, this variety, I guess. Next I have this lettuce little gem. I've seen people buy the little gem lettuce from Baker Creek so I was curious since they had it there to order the seeds. Small space saving robust romaine with sweet flavor typical of the heart of romaine. Ooh. See from the top view it doesn't look like a romaine. Hot pepper hot salsa blend. So I usually don't like blends because I don't know which is which, but look at that. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six different kinds. Includes Anaheim Hungarian Wax, Long Slim Red Cayenne, Jalapeno, and 8% Ancho. So actually, I have all these kinds of seeds, but um, I guess if you don't care what you're growing, um, this would be the selection for you, but I have those individually. Now this one I wouldn't have bought, but I was intrigued. It's, I don't usually like to buy hybrid pep, um, hybrid seeds because they may not be true to type. So here's the hot pepper big Thai hybrid, but it it's so cool because it looks like it's really long and like really big. And it says medium hot, so that's perfect for me. Four to five inch fruits on 30 inch plants mature quickly from green to dark red. Love that. It'll ripen quite quickly. 
So I got this watermelon bush sugar baby. So I have regular um, sugar baby, but this is a bush variety. So I was curious how its growth habit will be. And it says so right here, space saving bush type vines grow only three to four feet long. 12 pounds round melons have sweet and juicy flesh so this will be an early variety so it'll produce you know like the fruit sooner than the rest and then I've purchased uh, fairy morse echinacea I I just have bad luck with growing echinacea every time I've tried I've tried it in toilet paper tubes I've tried it directly in the ground and I know that at that time my soil isn't very good but I don't know why I've not been able to grow echinacea on my own. I bought a clearance plant. I hope it reblooms this year. Um, it did rebloom the year after I stuck it in the ground, but let's see if it comes back this year. It's supposed to be a perennial. It's large, long lasting rose purple flowers surround an orange brown center perennial zones three to 10. So um, I'm hoping that my other plant will come up and I'm hopefully, hoping that I can sow these and get something out of them. But um, I bought, one year I bought them uh, pelleted and I didn't know that they won't last that long. So I'm glad I got this variety as well. So I got from Burpee also the Zinnia Oklahoma Mixed Colors and I haven't seen a light pink like that, like a pale pink before and with the yellow, it's so pretty. Those colors right there. So I decided to get this mix and see if they turn out exactly like that. Double blooms in a range of shades with good resistance to powdery mildew, that's a bonus. And improved cut and come again type. Then I got Tithonia. This is another one. It says Mexican Sunflower Torch. Now it says um, Sunflower and usually those are pretty easy for me to grow but for some reason I have a tough time growing these. I've sown them from seeds at least two or three times and never has anything come up. Spectacular fiery orange red daisy like flowers are three and a half inches across on tall robust bushy plants. So I really want one of these and I want them to grow and so we'll see with a different seed company. The other one was from Baker Creek however I don't know what my issue is like I said my soil or what it was so I'm, I'm going to try again and again until I succeed. So here I got some fairy morse seeds because simply um, when I was browsing through all the seeds, I, I want to get something different from that brand. I mean that company. So I got this Long Imperator, Long Imperator Carrot. So it looks pretty like decent sized. It's a variety that's defined by large, straight, smooth roots that grow to be about in, 8 inches long when fully mature. The flesh is firm and the flavor excellent perfect in fresh salads and great source of vitamin A. Next I have collards, Georgia Southern Creole and I do have a different set of collard seeds but that I got from um, Johnny's. However, this one looks like it's uh, more, um, it has more leaves and that the leaves are like thinner, like more I forget the word not as not as hard you know not as thick so looks like it would be really good in a salad or some other application so they're dark blue green stemmed plants they form a large open head of leaves high in vitamins A, B1, B2, and C these are particularly valuable in the south for winter greens Next I have this cucumber poinsett 76 and it doesn't have the prickly things and it looks pretty smooth. I'm just curious if the skin is thin but um, I like 
cucumbers, uh, especially in the summer. I love it. It's a slicer, produces fruits that are dark green, white, spined, and straight, making them ideal slicer. The cucumbers average eight and a half inches long and two and a half inches in diameter when mature. The flesh is crisp, white, and tender on these disease tolerant cukes, and I love that it's disease tolerant. Yeah, last year for the first time I had to deal with a cucumber plant that had that um, powdery mildew and actually it did that at the end of the summer when we were starting to get tired of of cucumbers so so I like disease resistant things because um, pulling up all those diseased leaves and stuff is a little bit tedious and I don't like if the spores get around like I try to be careful with diseased plants so anyway this is the tomato Cherokee purple I don't believe I have this variety um, I've seen it in people's um, seed hauls or that they've grown some and I don't believe I've seen this in the store so I picked this one up it looks really really pretty and Cherokee Purple is a great conversation plant amongst gardeners. Originally grown by Cherokees, this disease tolerant variety has a smoky sweet flavor enjoyed for over 100 years. The indeterminate vines bear 10 to 12 ounce tomatoes with pink purple flesh. One, that sounds so good. Sweet flavor grown by Cherokees <clears throat> and is disease tolerant. I love that so much. And the bonus of that, it's purplish colored. Now, I saw this one and it looks like a medium sized tomato. And it looks pretty interesting, an heirloom tomato boxcar willy. It's um, good for old fashioned flavor. The prolific heirloom is better than most of today's hybrids. And it's round red fruits are 12 to 18 ounces. The indeterminate vines produce excellent crack free disease tolerant tomatoes with sweet yet tart flavor a very original tomato flavor and it's an heirloom non-gmo so it's um, not a hybrid it's comparing it to the hybrids next I got this jalapeno mild because I do love jalapenos but like um, in app in raw applications like in salsas and stuff. I would like to have a milder variety to mix in with my um, spicier varieties or just for certain things you want the milder variety. So I, I wanted to grow that. I wanted to get that um, option. For Tex-Mex dishes and for pickling, this pepper is hot enough to feel the heat but not too hot to empower food. The dark green fruits can be left on the bush to mature to a fiery red color. These peppers grow to a length of three inches. I got some Anaheim chilies. Now, like I said, a few years ago, I, I got a pepper. I grew one, and it kind of had a point, but it was a little bit more rounded than this. Now, I didn't know at that time because um, it was a store-bought um, chili pepper, like a, a seedling. Um, so I didn't know if it was the Anaheim I had mixed it up because I grew my chili peppers right next to each other so I didn't know I didn't know when I harvested if it was a Anaheim chili pepper or, or a Serrano so this one is um, bears large fruit six to eight inches long with a medium hot flavor love that I love medium hot Matures from a deep green color to a brilliant red. Very popular for drying. Oh, that's interesting. So I got this State Fair Giant Mixed Colors Zinnia because it has the yellow, the white, and stuff like that. I purchased a, a set like this years ago, but for some reason, um, I don't know. At that time, I didn't grow it well or... It was in poor soil. It was mostly mulch, so it didn't come up. So I bought. I decided to buy it again. Huge four to six inch blooms in radiant colors. A wide range of luminous shades produces vigorous plants. Next, I got this dwarf teddy bear sunflower, and I purchased that before. And it's only three feet tall, and they look so cute. And um, I believe 
anything any sunflower that has all the petals they don't have too many seeds is what I've heard um, um, or actually it's that the bees and stuff can't really pollinate it because it's just all petals and they can't get into the uh, pollen and that's what I heard so but I do like to grow it just for decoration it's so adorable um, back here it says only two feet tall but over here it says three feet tall so I mean I'm sure it varies produces eight inch double flowers irresistible and just the height for kids to enjoy it fits well in any garden so I got this hollyhock charters double mixed colors and I love how fluffy the the pink ones and those are it has like a ball of petals um, with the outer edge and it has the pink one has a little bit of yellow in it it looks really gorgeous um, the last time I bought hollyhock seeds was a long time ago uh, probably like seven years ago or something and it's a double but not this not as filled out as this one and um, it was I think the Ford Hook variety so bright giant fully double flowers in a range of rose salmon white and red blooms cover the entire height of the stalk and attract hummingbirds finally I got this nasturtium dwarf cherry rose I purchased it before and I just um, I purchased it last year and I just planted a few seeds kind of in various places but probably in the wrong season um, so I'm hoping just to have one more uh, pack of seeds of this because I love that color. It's like a, a bright red against the green and they draw to them. They draw pests to them and away from the plants that you you want to keep. Um, so like if you want to draw away like black flies and other pests then they'll go to the nasturtium because I've seen it personally and it happened last year for me and um, the leaves and the flowers are edible and pretty and you can use them to decorate a cake or a cupcake or something long flower stems reach about above blue green leaves luminous blooms appears over silver foliage wavy edge petals are folded into semi double blooms really pretty 